In this video, I'm going to discuss photorespiration. In plants that are adapted to survive in warm and drier habitats, there is a special process uh, referred to as CAM photosynthesis. And those plants do open their stomata at night um, so that they don't lose too much water during the daytime. But there's also a different process in plants in general uh, photorespiration that helps them survive during the warmest part of the day. And the reason they are able to do so is because the enzyme Rubisco has an carboxylase and an oxygenase function. This enzyme therefore has a very important role to play in survival during the hottest time of the day. So if we go look at what we learned in the light independent reactions of the Calvin cycle, we saw how Rubisco fixed carbon dioxide and uh, joined that to ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate to form some phosphoglycerate molecules. Well, Rubisco can also fix oxygen into um, this uh, cycle, but then it will not produce sugar as a product. Instead, it will make some PGA molecules, but no sugar. In, in There will be some carbon dioxide released. So you're probably wondering, well, why does Rubisco fix the oxygen to ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate? Let me explain what is happening during that hot time of the day. So if you can imagine the, um, the leaf here and that uh, we can have, uh, say, um, some epidermal layer here uh, at the top and the ventral side, some epidermal layer, we see that uh, the heat that is absorbed here during the day by the leaf uh, can be dissipated in the form of um, some evaporative heat or loss. And so um, a plant will typically open its stomata here at the bottom and it will allow um, some water uh, to exit the plant in the form of um, water vapor. So it is... Uh, going to be able to do that. Uh, the, the water vapor, vapor will exit here. Um, but if the plant keeps its stomata open for too long, it'll lose a tremendous amount of water. And therefore, it would be best for the plant if it can, during some times, uh, close the stomata so that um, it prevents too much water loss. So these little stomata, they have, uh, you know, two um, sides to them and uh, the water vapor can exit there, but they can also close the stomata. So uh, uh, you can see that there's no way then for the uh, water to be lost, which is a good thing. You don't want the plant to wilt and die, especially during this warm uh, time of the day. And so when the stomata are um, closed, now we, we do not have as much water uh, being lost and, and, and the plant in, can thrive. The problem though, that is going to start to uh, exist here when these stomata down here have closed, is that we'll see that the oxygen will start to build up inside of the leaf. And um, uh, oxygen, of course, can be used in the process of cellular respiration, but uh, too much oxygen is um, potentially harmful to the plant um, as it can cause some uh, damage to the cells. And so it would be best if, um, if the oxygen can rather be utilized. So therefore, we see um, here the, uh, the Rubisco uh, enzyme uh, will use its oxygenase function um, or property to, to fix the oxygen into this uh, photorespiration cycle. Uh, now, on the other hand, when uh, the oxygen is um, 
being built up here in the plant that's one problem but the other problem that the plant has is that um, no co2 can enter into uh, the plant because these uh, stomata of course are, are, are closed so uh, now the the dark reactions of the Calvin cycle cannot happen because uh, there there is simply not enough um, carbon dioxide that is uh, uh, there present to be uh, fixed into the the Calvin cycle so um, the, this mechanism of photorespiration is really a survival mechanism. Um, it is a short-term measure to help use up the oxygen that have built up. And then uh, it happens to also produce a little bit of carbon dioxide, which is a good thing. And this carbon dioxide then can be used uh, uh, in the Calvin cycle. So you know, for a short time, the, these uh, Calvin uh, cycle reactions will also continue until, um, you know, the, there's maybe a, or a deficit of oxygen and this uh, photorespiration cycle is not continuing anymore. So just to summarize, um, uh, this is a short-term mechanism, a so, sort of a survival mechanism, and it is um, not something that the plant will continue for a long time, but it really is just there to, um, to help with survival during the hottest part of the day.